So what I try to do there is to kind of like say, here I am. I'm supposed to be the guitar player, the entertainer, so here I am. If we were playing, for instance, uh, if, you, if you do a one, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And the, the, the five. That's the way I resolve it. So I would do, in the G chord, I might hit the tonic. Push up on the, 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 the C there. Push it up to D again. Mm -hmm. right. Back to the B and flat. there's that bend again when you just... just... <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I hear. So I'll take the four of the G, right. the, which is the C, right? right. But I don't want to hit it. I don't want to hit the D first, so I like to slide up to it. <laughs> You take that B flat and just mm -hmm. nudge it almost between B flat and D. Right. Yeah. That's great. Now, uh, uh, sometimes I got the time, I might bring it on up to, but most times it sounds better to me. Then I'd go back to the one again. Then, if I got enough time again and want to play around with it just a little bit, to the five, that would be the right? five chord, mm -hmm. right? Could you do that lick again? Because that's uh... so you're bending the starting uh, on the on, E, on right? On the E, and go up to the F. F sharp, right? Then we come back down to the eighth fret again. Right. So I haven't played that many notes, but it's still kind of going to the pad. But you said everything that needs to be said. 